The state is now investigating a fatal police shooting of an unarmed man on the Sawmill River Parkway. Tuesday's chase from the Bronx into Yonkers went on for eight miles. The crash left debris all over the road and traffic backed up. CBS 2's Lou Young spoke with the victim's family today in Yonkers. Whether he ran from the cops or not, it doesn't justify the fact that he got to get shot. It doesn't justify that. Relatives of a man killed Tuesday by police following a high-speed chase and crash say they're pleased the state attorney general is stepping in. Miguel Espinal fled from city cops in his brother's souped-up street racer Tuesday, a harrowing wrong way run along the Sawmill River Parkway up into Yonkers before he crashed and was gunned down by a pursuing officer. A passerby who didn't want to be identified tells me the single shot was fired mere moments after the crash. I would say... Uh, seconds, maybe 30 seconds, maybe less. Was very, was uh, right uh, after the bank, I heard the shot. Police say Espinal was shot in the chest after struggling with an officer. Family members who identified the body say it didn't seem like he was in any shape to fight. His face was all scratched up. It's a possibility it could have been through the accident. But his face was, I, his face was destroyed. Because Espinal was unarmed, State Attorney General Eric Schneiderman's office is handling the case under the new protocol imposed by Governor Cuomo, a move designed to mitigate some of the suspicion that arises when the criminal justice system investigates itself. Are you happy that the Attorney General is looking into this? Yes, yes, yes. I'm extremely happy. I have a strong belief that justice will be served. This police shooting is being handled by Deputy Attorney General Alvin Bragg, whose office will decide whether or not it'll be presented to a grand jury. And I'm told, even if there is no indictment, a report will be released to the public. We're in Yonkers. Lou Young, CBS 2 News. And police say they were trying to pull over Espinal because he was driving recklessly. Espinal's family says he ran from the officers because he does not have a driver's license.